Hi, my name is Jeff, and today we are going to set up an inventory item with the appropriate reminder. And for this example, we are going to work with just an exam item. Uh, you may have seen my earlier video where I showed how to set up distemper. Um, distemper was a much more complicated use case uh, where basically it was sold in a bunch of different ways. This is just an annual exam for a dog. It's only used one way, so we don't need to set up uses. We just kind of use this item as it is. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this item, and I'm going to set the next due date. This is important. You have to indicate that an item can be reminded for, and you do that first by setting the next due value. In this case, I'm going to set it to 12 months because it is an annual exam. Click Save and Done. Now we've set that. Next step, we're going to go to Actions. We need to set up a reminder so that that reminder is sent to the owner of the patient when a patient is seen for an annual canine exam. So I'm going to do that through actions, new action. And the first action we're going to create is a create reminder action. And I'm going to do that, setting it up as email uh, for this item. And since it's a year out, I'm going to change it to four weeks before just to give the owner enough time to schedule their follow-up appointment. Uh, so don't go overdue. Do save and done. And you can see now that I've set up the create reminder action for this canine exam. Now, if I were to give this exam for a patient, um, the owner would receive a reminder uh, for this 12 months uh, from the date of, uh, of service. Um, I'm also going to create a disable reminder action. Now, the disable reminder action is basically a way that you are, are, are using to teach Vetter to know what to do when this item is used, specifically related to other reminders on a patient file. So, I can come in here and take a look at my other exam items. I've got an annual exam, so I'm going to select all, copy, and I'm going to select that, 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 and I don't need to worry about canceling out the feline exam. So I'm going to say, actually the dental's different. I'm going to say that these three items, um, I want to cancel out a reminder for. So if, if reminders for one of these items exist on the patient for whom I am adding the annual exam charge, I want those old reminders to go away and only the new canine exam reminder to appear on the patient file. I'm gonna click Save and Done. So I've done that. Now, um, I am going to change the order because these, these do fire in order, so when you use the canine exam, you want the first thing to happen is to disable existing reminders. I always like to clear the decks and then add the new reminder. So I've just changed the order by clicking on little tic-tac-toe box and dragging it up. So now I have the disable reminder action happening first, then the create reminder action. And we're good to go. That's all that needs to be done. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please contact our support team at 1-844-4-VETTER, V-E-T-T-E-R. Email us at support at vettersoftware.com or contact us through the help desk. And you can do that through the little question mark icon on the top right, clicking help desk, and then signing in or signing up if you haven't already done so. If you have not signed up and you choose to do so, please sign up using the same email address you use to log into Vetter. Thank you. Have a great day.